And we're playing time added on at the end of the first period of extra time. Mikelau will take this one. Left footed, swung in. Marriott comes, doesn't get there. Is that in? It surely it is. And South End United have scored. Freddy is past his man. Now he's running towards goal. He's got Duncan Jump racing up on the right hand side. Duncan Jump to rub it up. Duncan Jump! He never scores! He has! Kicks the ball forward. It's the last kick of the 2004 2005 season. come across to take this his brother will be here with a blackpool tomorrow he's in the blackpool squad in his ball in the dangerous and set pieces and that's cracked in as well looks like drummond got the final touch to it and shrewsbury town are ahead within three minutes well everybody's lambert with a good hold up play ryan green Disley, Green's made a good run again, cut in, and Walker with a fantastic finish, Bristol Rovers are level, the tops Every day at training, because it doesn't come by fluke, it comes by ability and quality, and every time it goes in that Bristol Rovers box, oh, that's got in behind, Langmead, and that is a splendid goal, brilliantly finished, and he's done it again, he's on fire, Richard Walker, not a penalty, but it is a corner, and Ashton, who's been devilish with his delivery all afternoon, plays it into the box. The goalkeeper had come forward, and the goal is empty now as Igo breaks. The goal is empty if he slides it. Sammy Igo! Is he going to settle it? He has done! Bristol Rovers are going to be promoted to League One. of history for Rochdale. This, of course, their centenary season. Just one solitary promotion in that time. Four visits to Wembley for Stockport. Four defeats for Dale, the man who has breathed new life into Rochdale. Relegation candidates just over 12 months ago when he took over. Now they have their eyes fixed on the big prize. Their first promotion for nearly 40 years. But what's the go at them? Really get something out of it for his team. Scored in both semi-finals, both with a little bit of luck as well. Here's the resulting corner, Higginbottom. It's the first for Rochdale, and it's the goal! It is first blood to Rochdale, and it is Rory McCardle! Rochdale, one corner, one goal. Now it's Stockport County's goal. Short they go to Gleeson. That's a good ball in by Rowe! It's all on from the corners here, isn't it? An equaliser for Stockport County. Well, we have the quality. It's a short corner. And left two on one. You cannot leave two on one here. Look at this. This is sloppy. Take the short one. He's out of the game now. Lovely delivery here. And we see... Does it come up a Rochdale player? Yeah. Row. Rose cross, awkward bouncing one. Oh, what a goal! Anthony Pilkington strips the conquer. And for the first time in the final, Stockport County left. From Stockport, which hasn't looked like coming. Here's Dickinson, he's onside! 
the main man with the main goal, and surely now Stockport are out of touch. Having said that, the Rochdale goal could still make things interesting. Very interesting for Stockport County as well. And it's shattered, and so they should be. Little first, you don't succeed. Try, try again. Four times beaten at Wembley as a player, Jim Gannon, and he has taken Stockport County to their first ever Wembley win and back to League One. What makes these playoffs so enthralling, so enticing, so entertaining is the gap between success and failure. He deserves that. Josh Wright, disguised, it's left, it's brilliantly worked and brilliantly saved by Daniels into the... ...the last throw of this first half. Josh Wright, oh, Daniels had to make a really good instinctive save. It's going to be about three minutes of added time. The goal now would surely be a winner. Barton, that's a Gillingham corner in the last minute of the League 2 playoff final. Attacking the end where their supporters are housed. A corner for Gilligan, a header and in! Across the line! Simeon Jackson's header! Sends Gilligan back to League 1. There's no way back here for Shrewsbury. Spencer can't believe it. This game's still going on. A look at the watch from Clive Oliver. And a blow of the whistle, which signifies that Gillingham are back in League One. It's him high up on the left arm. Game finds McCrory on the overlap. Driven in. This is Benson. Able to turn! And Paul Benson has put Dagenham and Redbridge in front! In the middle, he really can't believe it. It's an equaliser! Taylor! Rotherham back on level terms almost instantly, and Ryan Taylor has broken his goal scoring drought with one of the most important goals that he has ever. Picked up here by Green. Faced by Gunning. And Green! Brilliant goal! Absolutely brilliant goal from. Lynch on the overlap. Lovely ball into the middle and off the bar. Lynch hits it forward. A bit of space here for Law. Three in the middle. Law pulls it back. It's Ryan Taylor. It's 2 2. And for the second time in this final, Rotherham have responded oh so quickly to going. Maybe Cramp beginning to just tell. Green's corner. Nurse, it's gone in! Everything seemed to stop for just a moment. Last few seconds, Warrington is forward as well. Rotherham have to score, but they're not going to. The header wide from Fenton, and Dagenham and Redbridge are in League One for the first time in their history. Tricky one, I won't be able to find Reed first time anyway. Massinho. By Long. Charles just over. Ostrick, Charles. Massinho bursting from midfield. It's Massinho! Well, if that is the goal to win the promotion, it's certainly worthy of it. An old tracker, an old Trafford cracker. In front of the it's Charles rolls him in, loads to do, but he advances into the space and unleashes an absolute rocket. Scott Bevan absolutely nowhere near stopping that. And look what it means. It's a huge goal. Darius Charles as they uh, man the defences. Key with the pass on any mistake from Henry. Robinson! And what's it squared? He won't need it. They won't need a second goal. 
Stevenage soar to where they have never been before. Graham Wesley has guided Stevenage into... Turn and what a goal that is! That is why he is so talked about. Top class from Nick Powell. Stage is just dropping off and picking the ball up. But this turn here, as he just turns away from two, three defenders, no second thoughts, just puts his. Pack. Oh, just wide from Marlon Dugdale. Leach Smith. Westwood. More just checks up on this bone dry Wembley pitch. Lee Smith. More. And that should be that. Our well, crew have won many admirers this season with their philosophy and their brand of football. They have now won promotion back to League One. Very tightly again. Meredith, Hansen challenging. It'll come all the way through. And Hansen's waiting for the pullback. And Hansen comes up with the opening goal for Bradford. And Reeds managed to get round the back beyond Guttridge. This time the cross was beyond Hansen. But Doyle returns it back in, and it's a second goal! Rory McArdle and Bradford City surely have one foot in League One already. Space for Meredith to charge forward from fullback. Now Reed. Another header towards goal, and there's a third goal! And it's Naki Wells! And surely it's game over with less than half an hour play. And Bradford City have been such an effective unit today. And it's their day. Phil Parkinson can celebrate. A marathon season has a glorious conclusion for Bradford City. Got it back here off Morris. Didn't really get hold of the shot. Ian Hume. And that was a better effort from David Ball. And it was an excellent save. Pussy with a Burton Albion corner. Oh, and the header should have been directed towards goal. What a chance. Gathered in here by Josh Morris. Oh, and that's certain to be a booking for Phil Edwards. Sarsavik to deliver. On oh, the goalkeeper's lost it and it's in. Anthony Sarsavik makes the breakthrough for Fleetwood Town now the man who's produced more goals in the red and white of Fleetwood this season than anyone else see is about to blow the full-time whistle to signal history for Fleetwood Town and they are there what a story quite remarkable Lining up edge of the box, now they make their move, and it was a... Uh... In by Worrell, call the header! Whistle's blown, it won't count! Joe Jacobson! Goal! But this is quality, goes right over the wall, even though it's jumped that high. Comes down. There you see it. Weston has delivered the cross. Knocked down by Craw. This is Piggott! One half of such is exceptional here. Keeps his composure. Look at that. No real extravagant middle and just hit the target. Joe Piggott. Let's look, look as big as possible. Murphy. It's Coca. Lynch stops it. Alfie Mawson. It's Leonard. No messing about. Wickham's advantage here. It's Hayes. He did it. It's Payne who finds the Bloomfield saved by Payne. Timlin. Marcus Payne. Adam Barrett. Thump. 
incident in the game, hasn't he? It's Joe Jacobson who managed nothing. It's Weston in the box again. He scored this time. It's Holloway off yeah. the Kian Bolger. He delivers. It's Sam Wood and Badley has managed to get to it. Badley diving to his left becomes.
Little drop here for Watson. Took his time to get the shot away. And it's in the bottom corner. Great start for Northampton Town in front. It helped Bradford to victory. Marshall is on. And there's a chance for Morton and he's put it in. 2-0 Northampton in first half. Marshall. Oh, good ball in. Oliver rises. Maxter with a brilliant save. This is Parks. Shattering. Flashing. With Taylor. There's a naughty one there from Moxie on Watson. And suddenly this is beginning to explode. And Charlie Good telling everybody that that should be a red card. And Dean Moxie has received the red. Here's the first bit of challenge between McCormack, I think it was Jake Taylor, and then that is horrendous by Moxie. Stopped easily by Hoskins, and if Oliver releases this, he's got Morton through, and he's put it wide. Northampton defender, and it's long for Morton to chase again, and he's got there again. And Marshall will take over. Smith waits in the middle, Marshall will go himself, will he? Hoskins, that's it! That's the third, that is game over. Long throw, and it's headed down, and it's helped in. It's four for Northampton. Andy Williams with his first touch of the game at Wembley. Provides further gloss for Northampton Town. Collins. Martin as the referee checks his watch and blows for time. Northampton Town march out of League Two into League One. Emphatic victory, the better team by some distance.